Hey everyone, we're back now for the second half of today's Evan Cassell double feature, and this time it's for their 1950 movie, Abbott and Cassell in the Foreign Legion. Now, wrestling promoters Bud Jones, Bud Abbott, and Lou Hotchkiss, Lou Costello, find that their client, Abdullah, Wee Willie Davis, is dissatisfied with them after being told he has to lose his next match. So he decides to return to his home. Now since Bud and Lou owe money to a mobster who helped bring Abdul over, they decide to follow him and bring him back. The trail leads them to Algiers, where they find out he's a member of the al tribe. The problem, though, is that the tribe, led by Abdullah's cousin Sheikh Hamoud El Khalid, Douglas Dumbrill, has been sabotaging the railroad with the help of foreign legionnaire Sergeant Axman. Walter Slezak. Now, Sheikh Hamoud hears about Bud and Lou searching for Abdullah, assumes that they are with the railroad, and tries to have them killed. Now, they manage to escape by taking shelter with the French Foreign Legion, except they meet Sergeant Axman, who tricks them into signing up for a five-year stretch with the Legion. Now, they struggle with their training, Lou in particular, but was there ever really going to be a doubt about that? But when they are given a pass to meet somebody in town, they realize that Sergeant Axman is a traitor when he tries to send them to the wrong address. Sergeant Axman had an ambush set up for them at the address he gave them, but they figured out in time and got away. They run across Nicole Dupre, uh, Patricia Medina, the French intelligence agent they were supposed to meet, and they tell her about the sergeant. However, without proof, Nothing can be done, so Bud and Lou return to the sergeant's quarters to find something. Unlucky for them, he returns and catches them in the process. Very conveniently for him, he needs men for a patrol, which he volunteers them for. While the patrol is camped at night, Sheikh Hamoud and his men attack, killing all the men but the sergeant. In this instance, Bud and Lou are lucky, as they'd gone off to catch a runaway camel, so they also survive. They run into more trouble, though, when Sheikh Hamoud's men capture them at an oasis. and The Sheikh makes plans to have them killed. Can Bud and Lou escape from his clutches and help put an end to his destruction? Now, originally, the plan was to start filming on Abbott and Costello and the Foreign Legion, not long after finishing Abbott and Costello Meet the Killer, Boris Karloff. But that didn't quite happen. Lou had had some health issues that delayed filming, in between suffering from rheumatic fever again, as well as surgery to deal with the gangrenous gallbladder. Now even with all that, his health was still precarious, yet he insisted on doing some of his stunts himself. And that included a wrestling scene with Wee Willie Davis, which resulted in Lou suffering from a wrenched arm socket and a stretched tendon. Still, he was able to get through the movie just the same. Now this is probably one of the Abbott Costello films I've been able to see many times over the years. And let's say, being one of the films with their names in the title, it was always generally easier to figure out that they were in it whenever it would come on. Even after all this time, I still enjoy this one a lot. Obviously it has its memorable moments, from the res wrestling rehearsal, It was fixed! To the requisite thirsty desert trek with mirages usually found in comedies of this type as well as a fish with false teeth at the oasis they find. So it's all good fun. Admittedly, it probably does have some issues with the portrayals of the Arabs here, especially being led by all-purpose villainous actor Douglas Dumbrill. I wouldn't say it's anything major here. As I said, it's a wonderful movie worth quite a few laughs. And for that reason, it's worth a recommendation from me. Now this movie is available on Blu-ray from Shout Factory. It's part of the 28th film... The complete Abbott and Costello Universal Pictures Collection and is one hour and 20 minutes in length. Well, that's all I have to say on this one, everybody, so thanks for listening, and I hope you'll keep tuning in for more.